still so many questions more than a month later and few answers. Fox's Matt Finn joins us live from Moscow, Idaho to bring us the latest information on this high profile case. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me, Josh. So we have this new layer uh, in the investigation here. There's new video uh, from a police officer's body camera. He apprehended uh, four young adults uh, in a field right where I'm standing, only a couple hundred steps away from the actual crime scene. Now at the forefront of the video, you could see the officer interacting with those young adults, um, one or two of them uh, in flannels, plaid flannels. But in the background of that video, if you look closely, you could see what appears to be maybe four people people walking by and those people in the background were walking from the direction of the crime scene uh, basically coming from the exact uh, vicinity of the house where those four students were murdered so police say that this is uh, an important layer of their investigation of course you would want to know what those people in the background saw uh, what they heard uh, of course if they are related to uh, the murders in any capacity uh, this area is a very uh, a busy college uh, campus there's, uh, for, there's a fraternity house right behind me. There's apartments and uh, fraternity houses all over. So those four people in the background of the video obviously could be innocent. Uh, they may have nothing to do with the case, but it, uh, it is a crucial layer to perhaps question them on what they saw or heard uh, that night. And also police continue to ask the public to be on the lookout for a white Hyundai Elantra. That's a kind of a small midsize sedan uh, between the um, years of 2011 and 2013. They say that that white car was in the vicinity uh, of the crime scene uh, and they are looking for anybody who may have been inside of that car. Back to you, Josh. And it sounds like, Matt, they have received plenty of tips. We're talking at least more than a thousand at this point, but they have not provided any information as to whether they do have a potential suspect at this point. As far as we know, no arrests have been made and no suspect has been, uh, been identified. Yeah, Josh, there, there's been a lot of frustration on the ground, online, you know, people saying, uh, give us more information. Maybe we can be on the lookout for something. But, you know, the, the more the police are questioned, it seems the more they remain tight lipped. I mean, they really have not released a lot of information at all. They're insisting that that is protecting the integrity of their investigation, that the, the less they reveal, you know, the, the less that they are providing for those potential killers uh, out there to conceal. Uh, so, no, they have not identified any suspects. They have not identified, you know, any uh, details for, for the public to be on the lookout for other than that white car. And we really don't know what role that white car played in this, uh, but they say they do want to talk to anybody who was inside of that vehicle. A lot left to figure out. Fox News' Matt Finn, thank you so much for being here with yeah. us. We appreciate it. Sure, thanks for having me.